I ain't say a word. Yeah, that's what you say. But it's how you carry yourself. Always apart. Always asking why. You should be doing what you told. You was never one of us. You never could be. The Bonitis boys. The Bonitis because of the cringe. Oh, it's just all crackling. Hold on, hold on. Sound effects. Oh, ah, my Bonitis. My Bonitis. <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous. Okay, so Terry McAuliffe, who is on video saying how, yeah, we're going to make sure that the mother has the baby and, you know, make sure the baby's nice and comfortable. And if the mother decides off the baby after it's born, um, yeah, sorry, little buddy, you got to go. This man is going against a Republican by the name of uh, Yunkins, if I'm uh, correct. And apparently the race is super close. In regards to, uh, you know, their uh, gubernatorial election in November and the great reset weirdos. Well, they're going to great reset weirdo. Don't wait. Vote now. Vote blue for Terry. Because, you know, vote by mail, right? That isn't. A gigantic, you know, I, I'm not gonna say I'm I'm not gonna say it because apparently what the mainline consensus is is that well you know whereas there was some fraud there's not there's not enough fraud to say that you know the election any ele- any particular not you know looking at 2020 but any particular election couldn't be overturned and I, when I see those who uh, claim red team. Uh, say that I'm just like, dude, you're literally no different than 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 a blue teamer at that point. I mean, because guess what? That I hate to be that guy, but the paradigm just is dead. It should be dead. You should be looking at this from, hey, is this are these great reset Davos agenda motherfuckers or not? You know, <laughs> at least from my opinion. At least that's how I. Uh, consume all of this, uh, all, all of this fun stuff. Because here in Jersey, uh, Obama's supposed to be out here in uh, a few days, and they're pushing for Murphy as well. But I don't think we'll get this exact same level of cringe, primarily because Murphy is just. I mean, he, like, I, like I can't speak to Virginia. I don't live. In Virginia, but I do live in New Jersey, and it, trust me, this scam, this scheme, these uh, sycophants are—it's it, a nationwide uh, it, it's situation and issue. But I can't speak to you know the cost of living in Virginia. I can't speak to the quality of life in Virginia, but just that the association between you know all of these uh, all of these different parties—it really goes to—it sh- really goes to show that. You know, like screw them, screw them all. Yeah, I like trust me, Cinderella, the guy who's running against Phil Murphy over here. I mean, he 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 a puppet too. Make absolutely no mistake about it. Uh, We I've covered what took place in our primaries here, where um where Rizzo got uh where Rizzo and 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 Hirsch Singh basically canceled each other out, and I believe that Hirsch Singh is like really an establishment puppet who is there to split votes, uh, really regardless of whatever race he's in. So, you know, that's our situation here. But guys, having the, like this, like I said, this level of cringe, this uber feminine level of cringe is uh just it's almost too much to bear. <laughs> So, okay, but, you know, you're a chick, yeah? Just saying. Like, I mean, seriously, a moth could be way too close to you and you'll freak out. I mean, I'm pretty sure seeing how you're making this fun propaganda here. And make no mistake, boys, strokes, all right, all day. Like, I, like I still gut the bitch like a fish. But, but 
uh, like, like, like your natural position is that of, you know, oh, timidness and fear. So, you know, like, even if no matter how the media was projecting the race, it would probably be too close for you and reason for you to be concerned because women's rights and all this other just complete horseshit that uh, one side tries to claim for itself and and say and says that the other uh, does has no interest in when in reality. No, no, no. They all they all sit here. They're all just soaked in uh, donut logic. You know what I'm saying? And, and in that circular um, mindset, red or blue, trust and believe. Don't let them. So you want to capitalize on the election fraud, you know, I mean, let's be real. I mean, hey, there's some of it. There's a itty bitty, there's not enough to actually turn. How, like, honestly, if you, if that's your logic, please explain it to me in the comments. Like, how is any fraud a good thing? (laughs) Oh, yeah, we, we don't have the proper the the respectable amount of fraud no 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 like it, it has there's a certain threshold oh perfect in the comics explain in the cop not the comics the comments please explain to me that if you say if you're of that mindset that hey yeah uh you know there's fraud but not enough to overturn the election please explain to me what your threshold your your personal threshold of fraud is like how much fraud do you need to uh to, to uncover before you're like wait a second Oh man, for I, I, you know, I'm gonna be honest here, guys, because before, even really before, before um the critical race theory stuff, I mean the 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 the, the shouts of anti-Semitism. It too was you is used as a shield, you know. As a black man, I'm gonna sit here and say things like critical race theory and um, all of these other ideologies that pan Africanism, all that other nonsense bullshit that's get that gets thrown out of the, that gets thrown out there are used as shields for horse shit. And, but I just the way history's kind of played itself out, just global history, because you guys are global weirdos. Anti-Semitism is like you know what I'm saying like. Boom, that 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 real hard hitting trump card that they uh used initially. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of that. Um the other one, I'm sorry. I know that's a wig, but you really can't get it. I mean, at least the one uh th- that's rocking the natural hair as per usual here. Yeah, she can get it all day, but you know, she's also completely insane. What I tell you all about what have I been saying about hot and spicy latinas? Huh? Or Hot and spicy Latina looking chicks, either way, because she might be like, oh, I'm not Latina, I'm South African or some shit like that. Anyways, boys, all the internet stuff. If you like it, so also like, this, like, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you, sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to get videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch, you and like aren't the biggest fans of you, boy, over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications, get something from Teespring, check me out on how to see as well. Links in the description, actually go in the description box and do damage and speak. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Yeah, uh, this is like really, like, like if whoever saw y'all on, particularly with this extra feminine shit, because once again, you look at all, or you look over, you know, the course, like everybody else, China, Russia, like, yeah, boys, baby, masculinity, straight up pure logic, my dudes. Uh, whereas here in the States, man, whew, this, this, and, and trust me, this is, didn't just start with Trump. This, this like real talk, Obama really laid a lot of the seed work and groundwork for just all this great reset bullshit. Huey Freeman was right, but you may disagree. This is what comment section's for. Until the next one. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem.